Yo, what's going on, you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today, we have the long-awaited MPC 2.0 software. Now, Akai just released the beta so far, so if you have an Akai MPC Touch, an MPC Studio Black, or the MPC Live, all you have to do is go to akaipro.com slash MPC download, make an account, register your device, and then you can download the beta of the software. So all that to say, this isn't the complete version, but still you get to access all of the new things that come with MPC Live and MPC Studio 2.0. With that said, let's show you some of the new things in the DAW. All right. Now, as you can see, we're at the home screen. I'm gonna cycle through the other screens so you can get a feel for what's going on. There are three particular screens in MPC Studio 2.0 that you need to know. One is the main view that we're at now, also called the grid view. The other one, this is the wave view. So one of the new features in MPC 2.0 is warping. Similar to what they were doing in Ableton Live, uh, you actually get to do real-time stretching and pitch shifting in MPC 2.0. Something real cool that we'll show you in a future tutorial, but this is just to show you how all the different screens work so you don't get overwhelmed when you use the software. So, grid view, wave view, list view. This will fill out more when you have some more events to add, when you have sequences, programs, that type of thing. This view will make a little bit more sense to you. But those are the three basic views. But if we go to the top, I'll show you some of the menu bar items. Now, if we go up here to our left, of course that house is gonna be our home button. All right, and then to the left of that is the menu button. So I can go to file, open up recent projects, edit, undo history, metronome, record, all that kind of jazz, right? But if I go up here next to it, let's click on this magnifying glass. So, our track view, okay? So similar to how we had in the earlier versions of the MPC software, once you have more tracks, you'll be able to see them in a linear fashion going across here with the different, uh, the different MIDI events that are being triggered, if you will. So, that's that view right there. Let's go to the one next to it. Program edit view. Program edit view has been completely revamped, but still the same principles apply if you have the earlier versions of the program edit. All right, I'll go back to that later. Now, this is our new sample edit window. Once I load up a sample, it essentially looks the same as it did in MPC 1. Point whatever you have, except the colors are different. But basically, you would load up a sample just the same, and you could hit your pads. Everything would still work out just fine. I'll show you that a little bit later in the video, too. Next, we have our pad mixer mode. Channel mixer. This is the new way to sample. Again, still the same as the earlier versions of the MPC software, but now it just has a funky new logo. So it's kind of cool. You can show people, oh yeah, look a little vinyl thing at the top to sample. So yeah. Now we have a looper view. And this is where you go for your track mutes. Of course, this is the regular stuff at the top, BPM, master sequence, da da da. You, you guys know all that stuff. And of course, recording, blah, blah, blah. But if we look to the bottom right, we'll see a couple more commands that we all need to know in MPC 2.0. All right, so the first is the browser button is right here now. Now, whereas in the past, if you would look to the left of your software, you could see all of your programs, you could see all of your past projects and stuff like that, they moved it to a convenient button at the bottom of the screen, which is pretty cool because now it's completely out of the way and you can have the full screen to do your work. Also, all of the expansions have moved down here too. And so have your other sounds. the history of what you've done in the track so far. Project Notes kind of reminds me of Logic Pro X, but it's a new addition that I like a lot. More project info, so basically all of your sequences and your tracks, all that kind of stuff will populate here, including your samples as well. So again, it just reduces on the clutter. It's a real nice way to organize everything on the screens. And finally, this button right here is to report 
a bug or make a suggestion because again this is a beta akai wants to make this as perfect as possible so it's not going to be quite perfect yet but it's pretty darn stable so far we gotta say so let's go ahead and load up some sounds to show you some basic things that the software can do And before I forget to mention, let me go to the bottom left. There are a couple more things you need to know. Uh, one is that there's finally a dedicated view for the mixer. If you click this bottom at the bottom left. Boom. So we just went to the mixer view, right? All right. Let's go ahead and go back to the other view. Excuse the screen flow crap. Boom. So that was the mixer. And that eye down here shows you all of the track info for your tracks. I know you're probably wondering, well, hey, when I load up a sample, how do I get to edit some of the stuff? How do I load plugins? How do I do X, Y, and Z? Well, all of that happens right here. You have to press that eye at the bottom. Otherwise, it makes it so you have the full screen size to work on your track and you don't have to worry about anything. And finally, if you want to add the MIDI keyboard keys at the bottom of the screen, voila, you can do that too. So let's go ahead and add some sounds. <laughs> I'm still learning with you guys, right? Yeah. But I hope you appreciated that sound. Let's go ahead and see if it populated and sample edit. This will be a surprise for both of us. <laughs> uh. Boom. So I closed that view and the samples loaded up. Pretty cool, right? I just clicked something and it disappeared. So as you can see, Still a little bit of kinks to work out on my end as far as using it, but again, just a general overview of how this works so you know how everything looks. All right, and notice if we go back to the other view at the bottom left, we can see that the sample is actually populated, and we see the cue links down here as well. Naturally, if the controller was plugged up, you would see the controller view as well, but you can also go ahead and edit the track view too. And, matter of fact, just notice this. This is where the pads have moved to. I know, right? Crazy. All right, we have a sample back pulled up. So as you can see, it's essentially the same thing as the earlier versions of MPC, but a couple of new added twists. You have different screens for your cue links now, different screens for the pads, different screens for the mixer, but essentially most of the premises remain the same. The new features like warping, uh, real time stretching, real pitching and clips, those will be things that we cover in future videos. Just wanted to give you an overview of how the software looks so you can navigate it without any issue. That's pretty much all for us today at Drum Machine Addicts. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. We'll see you next week. Take care. Peace.